Cuente como una... Eso me toca estar aquí en Magdalena. Dario Swice. Viene de Celebrate, pero es just a 4-point lead for Pure Foods. Es still a lot of time, 41 seconds. El único problema para esa Magdalena es que no hay ningún tipo de timeout. Por eso es que tienen que ir a su lugar en el fly. Si tú guardas el final de la canina. It's beginning to look like the Darius <laughs> Rice will win over the Watkins Flyers. Very easy to play on Watkins Flyers. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? What the hell is that? He did not play oh. practically the entire second quarter. Yeah, yung champion yun na discarrel. Kulang sa carbs pero sa dos sa cows. 31 seconds to go. In the fourth and final quarter, and here's Watkin. They ought to spar. Yeah, spend a lot of time. Atong Magdoya should just uh, be able to find the right people. Problema dito sa ang pure food. Most of these guys, aside from Enrico Villanueva, are dead shots from the free throw line. I think it would be an understatement to say that Arius Rice will be a marked man the next time around. It's Cortez. Tugade. It's Ray. Yes, sir! That's what we're talking about. It's a two-point game. It's a two-point game. It's just a two-point ball game. 108 to 106. With less than 20 seconds remaining. Get the ball right here. All right. Just in case you get the ball here. See, make yourselves available. Let's go! Oh, one, two, three, 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 Darius Rice. That's what I was saying right there. This is a ball hawking violation. And two. Magdalena gets the ball back. The action continues here. 12 seconds to go. Magdalena down by two. Both teams are in the penalty. Back for this. This is the last. There's James Jap, James Jap for the win, not me, and we're going into overtime. What a game, Nico. We'll need five more minutes to decide the winner of this ball game. We're tied at 108 at the end of the fourth quarter. We're back with the overtime. We have a... Ito po ang unang laro para sa dalawang kumpunan here in the smart PBA Sesta Conference. And welcome to the overtime period. Ball game tied at 108. Here to start the overtime period with Enrico Villanueva, Roger Yap, Herbie Raimundo, Darius Rice, and James Yap. Darius Rice with 47 big points in the ball game. Here's Raimundo. Kirby Raimundo in the overtime. Kirby Raimundo. Tahimik yung uh, laro niya at uh, production niya. For four quarters, like he said, this might be his moment. All will stay with uh, Magnolia, and the beverage masters have Cortez, Sigo, Tingres, Watkins, and Ontiveros on the hard court. When looking at the 10 players on the court on the Magnolia side, you think a lot more pressure legs on their side. Para sa Pure Foods, a lot of them already on the brink of playing 40 plus minutes a little bit. Pure Foods on top by two. Magnolia, hindi pa po nakakapusos here in the overtime period. One minute having gone by in the extension, and here's Raimundo against Sigo. Raimundo, fires. Watkins with an easy rebound, here's Cortez. 
Cortez on the move. Cortez over to Seagull, and he will take two. Still a balance attack here for uh, Parasar. As a Magnolia. Seagull now with the 19 points. Six players in double figures for the Magnolia. Mike Cortez could be the seventh because he already has nine points. So, the things that they said earlier, the offense, nila, they're really just trying to find out and find who the guy with the uh, easiest available basket is. Here's Rice. Forces it back to the line. Calante Veras. And here's Cortez on the move. Sigo with an open lane. And Watkins will not be denied. You can say that the uh, production of Jamil Watkins is not going to be able to solid. You can see that he's going to be able to finish on 21 uh, points and add to that 15 rebounds. Well, we have a set the ball and rides it up for this. And so we're tied in you at 112 all. 2 and 41 remaining in the overtime period. Here's Antonero. Siegel against Raimundo. Tends to shoot. Siegel has the ball. Siegel makes his move. Siegel, no! Shot. Of course, Danny attacking at si Kirby Raimundo. Dahil si Kirby, meron ng limang fouls. Raimundo. And he wants to paint this. And the captain is good for the Nico Villanueva. Yeah. It's another outlast for the Nico Villanueva. Outlast, paint this. Three batteries. We're looking at the power of the big. Magnolia down by two. 114, 112. Here's Cortez. Fires. This is Watkins. Just rushing everybody aside. But like I said, efficiency for Jamil Watkins. 9 out of 15 from the field. 16 rebounds. He's got 6 offensive rebounds. Dalawa dyan ng galing dito. Here's Rice. Rodgeri Aperado Raimundo. Raimundo makes his move. A steal by Antoneros. So that's the second big defensive play in the Gawani Tonto and Antipero. One was that block shot. And right there, a steal. Oh, Kirby Solid numbers all around for Jamil Watkins. Funny thing about this game, Nico, Deerfoot seems to have stolen the game in regulation. Now, itong uh, Magnolia, sila naman ang, uh, on the, in the midst of stealing this game. Oh, way back from Deerfoot. There's Antoveros. Antoveros! Oh, what a game for Gordon Antoveros. He has 23 points tonight. Lanong Magnolia, 116-114. Time out of uh, Pure Foods Vito. With one minute and two seconds remaining in overtime. Because, uh, well, Cortez has been productive and exactly. Mark Mingris as well. And even more so for Enrico Villanueva para sa Pure Foods. Actually, Mike Cortez has played the most minutes para sa kanyang kupanan. And, uh, and look who's in for the first time. Chester Colonia at ang kanyang unang assignment is to guard Darius Rice, who has 47 points. And here's Darius Rice, outed by Colonia. Colonia will be, well, will be shipped back to the bench, and in comes uh, Danny Siegel. And now, Darius Rice with 49 points. And we're tied in you at 116, with under a minute to go in overtime. Cortez, eyeball to eyeball with Roger, 14 to shoot. Cortez, there's a switch. Here's Antiveros, they want the ball in with Watkins. Watkins, double team, outside Cortez, here's Siegel. Siegel on the move with three to shoot. Siegel falling away, blocked by Villanueva. And that is in the water, said Magnolia. There's a two second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And perhaps Pure Fords will really miss the clock here. 11 to shoot, 12 remaining in the game. Here's Darius Rice, and Kirby will try to score underneath. Here's Michael Fox with three seconds 
Ah, 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 ah,